Hello friends, my name is Shobhadro and I welcome you all to David Credit Nation and today we are going to talk about technical analysis before picking a stock. Now before I start let me recap. So first we need to do the economic analysis as per my previous video. I'm going to uh, share the link of my previous video fundamental analysis in the description below. So first we'll do the economic analysis, then we'll do the sectoral or industry specific analysis. Then we'll do a company level or stock level analysis. And finally, we'll pick when to enter and when to exit the market. Now within the company or stock level analysis, we need to perform two separate analysis. One is the fundamental analysis. I have already created a video on fundamental analysis and the second one is technical analysis. And today I'm going to show you how to do a technical analysis before you pick up a stock. What is a technical analysis? Technical analysis is nothing but checking the trend, how the stock price is moving. Basically, how does the stock price move? To most of the people tries to buy a stock, the stock price go up. But whenever there's a selling pressure, that is most of the people are selling of their stock, the stock price go down. In my previous example, I gave you an example of Tata Steel. On 23rd March, the Tata Steel stock fell. So that means most of the people were selling off their holdings. They sold off their Tata Steel stocks. That's why Tata Steel was falling on that particular date. Before starting the technical analysis, let's see a few terminology that we need to know. Suppose this is a stock price. So when the stock price is rising, it is called uptrend. And similarly, when the stock price is falling, it is called downtrend. This one is uptrend and this one is called downtrend. Now, when does this uptrend happen? That is most of the people are buying this stock. This is called uptrend. And similarly, most of the people, the volume of sale of a particular stock is very high. Then this downtrend happens from uptrend. Suppose from uptrend, suppose a stock starts falling. This is called trend reversal. Okay. So at this point, so it was, it was rising, rising, rising. Then suddenly something happened. The stock starts falling. This is called trend reversal. Similarly from downtrend, a stock can start rising. And this is also called trend reversal. So this one is called bullish reversal because uh, initially it was bearish. That is, it was falling. Then suddenly it got reversed and it start rising. So that's why it is called bullish reversal. Similarly here it is called bearish reversal. So I think these are the basic things before I start with technical analysis. I needed to show you today. We are going to talk about candlestick pattern. So basically I myself don't believe in technical analysis because being a cost accountant or chartered global management accountant, I don't believe in technical analysis. I believe if the fundamentals of a company is strong, then we should buy that company. If the fundamental is, is not very strong, you need to sell it off. Or if you don't have it in your portfolio, just ignore that stock. But many a times people also believe apart from fundamental analysis, people also believe in technical analysis. So they, they believe that using a technical analysis, they can estimate or they can find out what is the future trend of this stock going to be. So without any further ado, I'll start with candlestick pattern. Now, what is a candlestick? So if I draw a candlestick, this can be a candlestick. So this part swollen part is called the body of the candle. So it is called body and you see these two strings. This can be called as shadow or wick, or some people calls it tail. So both the upper part and the lower part, both of them are called shadow, wick or tail. So what does a candle indicate? So a candle indicates so the lower part of the body is the opening price. So this is the opening price and the upper part of the body is the closing price. And the down the lower, I mean the extreme rock bottom part of the wick is the lowest price. It is the lowest price. And the uppermost point of the uh, string or the week is called the highest price. Now, what is this open, close, high, low? Let me show you the candle. Mm, Maruti. So let me bring the chart. So this is a candlestick. You see a lot of candles, red candles, green candles. Obviously red candle means uh, bearish candles and the green candle means bullish candle that is when the price is rising it's a green candle when the price is falling it's a red candle if i zoom it a bit so let's take this candle 
uh, okay this candle is a bigger one this red candle let's check let me replicate this red candle into my uh, here so this is my let me draw the red candle over here okay so since I, since it's a red candle that means the price of the stock fall on that particular date so on um, on 3rd of june i think it is june right so on 3rd of june the stock opened at 7950 so it is my opening price so opening price was 7950 and the stock was closed the stock throughout the day after trading the stock closed at 7700 so somewhat close to 7700 so let me make it uh, 7710 and throughout the day the highest point was close to 8000 so i'll make it 7990 and low this is the lowest part so low was throughout the day the least part was between 7700 and 7650 so i'll make it um, 7680 so throughout the day the stock moved this way so it started here 7950 and then there was a bearish pressure that is people were selling off this stock now once they sold off this stock the stock price got fallen fallen then it fell down till 7680 okay this is the least part then the bulls start coming in they start buying it so it went up till 7990 and finally again the bears were bears get stronger and finally it was closed at 7700 so this is a red candle similarly i can draw a green candle let me quickly draw a green candle so since it's a green candle that means it's a bullish candle so similar to the previous candle this candle got opened at so the opening part is here because it is going to rise it's a green candle let me take a green candle over here so it's a green candle see uh, let me take a bigger candle okay fine this is the biggest in the screen so let me take this one so it started at between 7650 and 7600 so i'll make it 7630 and closing price was what is the closing price so closing price is above 7800 so i'll make it 7810 and the highest point was very closer to the closing price so the highest price i'll make it say 7820 and the lowest part on that on 7 june was so it fell down till close to 7550 so i'll make it 7560 throughout the day the candle moved from 7560 to 7820 so throughout the day there was a movement of around 300 rupees now if someone goes for intraday trading and if their bids are correct then people can make profit so this is a green candle now that we understand what is a candlestick we need to understand that how many patterns are available that we need to know okay so candlestick can have multiple patterns so i'll start with the first pattern over here the first pattern is called a doji what is doji so for example suppose a candle has a very small body the color doesn't make any difference so suppose it's a green candle which has a very small body and but the wicks are very long so this type of candles are called doji d o j i it's a japanese name this can be red this can be green doji means indecisiveness the opening price was over here and the closing price over here but throughout the day it moved the high it made over here and the close it made over here so although there has been there have been a lot of movement but the opening and closing price was somewhere very close so that means people are indecisive people cannot decide whether they want to buy this stock or whether they want to sell this stock so whenever you see doji patterns you will understand the market is going to move sideways why sideways so as i told you that this can be called uptrend and this can be called downtrend when there is a multiple doji that means market is moving that way so sideways now let me go to the second candle under doji there can be there are two subdivisions of doji the first one is called morning star and the second one is called evening star now let me quickly show you morning star how does a morning star behave morning star happens between a red candle and a green candle so this is the doji candle what does it mean it means a trend reversal how because so it's like 
when the market was falling suppose a doji appears then the market starts rising okay you don't believe it let's go to the live uh, maruti stock movement and let's see an example of this morning star so in maruti um, can we see a morning star over here see the market was falling suddenly a morning star appears and it starts rising okay do we see any other morning star over here for example so whenever there's a trend reversal you can see bearish to bullish there can be a morning star so as i told you that technical analysis doesn't work always it doesn't hold good all the same time but sometime it works so here we can see a morning star so if at this time so this is around june say 5th around june 5th a trader sees a morning star he or she realizes that the market is going to shoot up right now so if he or she buys a lot of stock of maruti then their portfolio is going to rise but again this rise is for a very short time because technical analysis doesn't give you i mean uh, if a stock rises for temporarily that means there has been some news about but if the stock's fundamental is correct that means that stock will rise so another morning star i can see over here very evident morning star see a free fall was happening around initial part of march but suddenly a morning star appears and the stock keeps rising but again does it rise fully but no there is another downfall there is another trend reversal okay so this is called morning star now another example of doji can be an evening star same way how does the evening star work just a reverse of morning star so again trend reversal how does it work so the market was rising suddenly an evening star appears then market starts falling okay again trend reversal so if you want to see evening star let me go back to my uh, maruti's stock movement so can we see a evening star so i can see a evening star around here see the market was rising suddenly an evening star appears then market starts falling so evening star is just the opposite of uh, morning star so it is also a trend reversal but it is a bearish reversal this is the first type of candle that you just saw doji and the strategy based on whenever you see this type of pattern in stock movement you can understand what type of trade you need to do so for this example when we have this evening star that means if you are holding stocks of a particular company and you see this this star over here that mean in future i mean from the next couple of days the stock will start falling so that means you must sell off your stake the second pattern is called maru bozu candle it's a maru bozu candle now for this one this red one it started here so this is the opening price and this is the close price this is the low point and since there is no week or there is very small week that means the opening price was the highest price so since opening it starts falling 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 it fell down till here then there was some buying pressure via which it went up and it got ultimately closed over here so it's a very bearish kind of candle same thing so for the green ones the opening price will be around here and the closing price will be around here and this is the high and opening price is same as the lowest price so that means there has been a lot of bullish pressure people are buying this stock so this is called i don't know if i uh, know the correct spelling so it goes like something like this now maru bozu candle means this this means there is a lot of weakness in this stock and this means there is a lot of strength in this stock so people with conviction they are buying this stock this is a green maru bezu candle but for the red one people believe that there is going to be a bad news like for example tata steel the stock started falling so there was this red with conviction people were selling off their stocks now let's see let's identify a maru bezu candle over here so see this one is a maru bezu candle see after a maru bezu candle the stock starts falling so since it's a red one so it starts falling so that means people with conviction lot of people believe that this stock maruti is not going to do good in future so they are selling off their stake okay now if i go here see here is another maru bozu green candle that means here the stock is gaining strength or here again the stock is gaining strength okay so from here it's it starts rising so whenever you find a maru bozu candle if it's a green one that means the stock will rise i mean it will not always rise but there is a uptrend going to happen and when is when there is a strong red candle 
or okay no this one has wigs so let me check a better one so this one see it doesn't have the upper wig this one defines that there is a lot of weakness so this is the second type of candle first one is dozy and the second one is marubozu the last one that i'm going to talk to you today is the hammer candle the hammer candle is similar to let me just show you from here hammer is similar to hathora like whenever you see a hammer you know uh... so see this one is hammer okay so hammer means it has a this this let me so it's a handle and this is the hammer itself the iron part okay so whenever you see an hammer hammer also indicates that trend reversal a red hammer means bearish reversal a green or inverted hammer means bullish reversal okay so see here we can see a hammer and it was rising rising then this hammer appears hammer is similar to you can call it similar to evening star and then uh, the stock starts falling again does the fall continue no it fell down for one day so 12th their hammer appears on 13th it start falling but from 14th it starts rising so as i told you that no one can predict stock based on technical analysis the technical analysis may work for short run maybe a couple of weeks but in the long run only the fundamental analysis prevails in the short run you are or if you are a trader not an investor you can go for technical analysis and your technical analysis may work so this is a just a basic type of technical analysis if you like this video you can uh, mention in the comment section then i can create another video the advanced level of technical analysis so this is just a candlestick so if i go to display so i have selected candle so there can be bar okay and there can be line which is mostly used so see so this way people also can do this uh, technical analysis if you think we are doing a good job like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the future videos thank you so much